Mướp đắng còn gọi là khổ qua, thuộc họ dây leo. Theo đồng nghi, mướp đắng có công dụng thanh nhiệt, sáng mắt, giải độc, thích hợp với các chứng nhiệt sinh ra nóng, khát, mát tim, nhuận tràng, giảm đường trong máu, chống sừng phù, điều trị độc tố, thúc đẩy khả năng miễn dịch, hạt bổ thận trắng dương là vị thuốc dùng khi phát sốt rất hiệu quả. Trong cuộc sống, mướp đắng kết hợp với nhiều loại nguyên liệu khác, tạo thành những món ăn khác nhau đặc trưng, thường được người Việt Nam dùng hàng ngày. Canh mướp đắng còn là một trong những món ăn ngày Tết của người Việt từ xưa đến nay. Theo y học hiện đại, mướp đắng có tác dụng diệt vi khuẩn và vi rút, chống lại các tế bào ung thư, hỗ trợ đắc lực cho bệnh nhân ung thư đang chữa trị hoàng xạ. Vì những tác dụng thiết thực tác động đến sức khỏe con người từ mướp đắng, ngày nay mướp đắng được đặc biệt quan tâm nghiên cứu trong các phòng thí nghiệm, được chế biến thành những sản phẩm thực phẩm chức năng dễ sử dụng. Một trong những sản phẩm ấy là trà mướp đắng, được chế biến từ dây và lá. Trải nghiệm quy trình tạo nên sản phẩm trà mướp đắng đặc biệt thơm ngon sẽ là trải nghiệm khó quên đối với chàng trai trẻ đến từ đất nước Kangaroo Mark William. Chào các bạn. Hello. My name is Mark. I'm 30 years old and I'm from Australia. Uh, I've been living in Vietnam for two years. And in those two years, I have been an English teacher. But today, I'm joining living in Vietnam for a day. And I don't know what I will be doing. All I know is I'm in Dom Nai province, very close to Lom Can. And I'm looking for Miss Thuyet. Maybe she can tell me what I'm doing today. Okay, let's go. Cho tôi gặp chị Thuyet. Chị Thuyet ở đâu? Ờ, chị Tuyết ở bên đám con hướng dương anh ơi. À, đi thẳng để phải là nhìn thấy hoa hướng dương là cô chị tiết ở bên đó cảm ơn chị vâng tạm biệt excuse me uh, yes chào chị chào em I'm Hi. looking for Miss Tuyết. Yeah, it's me. Ah, Miss Tuyết. Ah, I found you. Good. Good. My name is Mark. Oh. I'm here for work in Vietnam for a day. Good. Ah, uh, uh, good morning. <laughs> Today you will um, learn. You will join us to uh, doing the um, on the process of um, making quarantine uh, a bit of tea. Ah, uh, tea. 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 Yes. Wow. Maybe I introduce you to uh, Mr. Quang. Uh, Mr. Oh, Quang. My name is Quang. Uh, yeah. My name is Mark. Oh, nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Because Quang will uh, uh, accompany with you for uh, today. Uh, today I Excellent. become your tour guide. Ah, yeah. my private tour guide. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Mm. So, can can we start now? Yeah, really? why not? Let's do it now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so. let's go. As you know, I met Miss Twit, and this is my first job for today, turning the soil, okay? Clearing out some grass. Uh, some grass got jammed into this this machine. Uh, why do we do this? Do the soil? You use this machine before we make the ground for planting because it makes the the soil very. It's not too hard. Ah, so yes. You can see here yeah. after that like this. Ah, 
Uh -huh. So it just makes it easier for planting. Easy for planting. Huh? At the moment, I feel fine, but uh, as long as this machine doesn't start up, I'm fine. I'm happy. If it starts up, not so happy. Grass is good for the soil, but it's it's not good for this machine. And uh, we're tired now. We've been unblocking this machine, unclogging this machine for the last five or ten years. Okay, first job finished. Pretty good, I think. Now I'll do my second job. I don't know what it will be, but follow me. Let's go. Uh, this is the bitter melon mm -hmm. tree. You can see at the ceiling here, we have small one. And we plant this tree on the field. But sometimes you eat the fruit. I've eaten it, But yeah. you did not see the plant. Never seen the plant, and I can't and believe it's one week. One week old, yes, so big. Old. Let's go for plant this tree mm -hmm. on the field. Okay. Because take no, it. You can see, it's like sand, right? Like sand, yeah. Like sand. But not sand. It needs water. You see like this? Not nice. sand, it's like clay. Yes, clay. Yeah, very clay. With our water, it's like sand, and with water, they like clay. And, and this this soil is it's quite special. Yes. I've never seen it uh, before. Yeah, it's from volcano. After volcano blooming, yeah. And after about thousand years, the it become this soil. So, uh, so this soil is good for growing bitter melon. Almost the uh, plant is good with this soil. Mm -hmm. This you can use this one to this yeah. home. Right, yeah. Or like this, like this. Yeah, right, that's ah. right. Take our one. Any tree? Yeah, any. Yeah, any tree. Okay. Okay, okay. and then we have. Yeah, you one second. One here. Yeah. Because it's watering for a long time here. This one looks good. Oh, it's a bit smaller. It's okay. It's okay. Right. Like cow. Ah, yes. Ah, manure. Cow poop. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Very specialized tool. <laughs> Okay, we've just finished uh, planting some seedlings, some bitter melon seedlings. Um, it's the first time I've done any work in a, in a greenhouse. Um, it's hot. Um, for, for a long time, if you did this for a long time, it would be very hard on your back and your, your knees, but um, very interesting at the same time. Introduce you about the planting peppermint. Ah. One ingredient in our company product, you know, the bitter melon tea. Ah. I can't wait. We're just about to plant some peppermint plants on the farm. And you can see uh, Mama they plant that one. When I go 
young and you fly and ask for food. Why do you need peppermint in tea? Uh, yes, because the tea is for northern Royang. They have bitter, bitter taste. Mm -hmm. And then we can use this one for good smell. Uh -huh. You see, peppermint is used for many things. Mm -hmm. Food, candy. Yeah, I know it in candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Chewing gum? Chewing gum, right? right. Yeah. Uh, the people here, the, the farmers have to be very strong uh, because of the sun. Uh, even women are farmers here. Uh, back in Australia, uh, very few women would actually be out on the field. Uh, but you can barely tell they're women. They're all covered up. All you can see is their eyes poking out. But uh, very hard working. All this irrigation is, is quite interesting. I've, I've never seen anything like it before. I've, I'm not from a farm at home. Um, it could be very backbreaking work, kneeling down all day long, and very sunny. Very sunny. Okay, you can, after we plant this one, you have to watering it. Uh -huh. Okay, you can try to watering this one. Ah, uh, okay, sure. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. With this? Yeah. Uh -huh. we, we this one. Yeah, I like this watering can. It's very oh. <laughs> Very unique to Vietnam. Uh, you, wooden hand. Uh, yeah, wooden hand. All the country they have the metal. Yeah. In Australia, usually plastic. Ah, uh, plastic. Uh, usually. Yeah. <laughs> um, so how? What is there a, a way to do it? Yeah, you just shower the old phone. Okay. And make sure I get all of them right. Like, I think it's amazing this water comes from underground. Oh, really? Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> it's great. Okay. Okay, let's go, go back. Yeah. Uh, this job was interesting, funny because uh, you get to have a, a little chat when you're planting the plants, and uh, uh, it's it's very beautiful. I mean, look around. It's um, it's better than being stuck in an office. I'll put up with a bit of brown skin instead of being sitting in an office all day long. We will go to another place and another work we waiting us there. Oh, okay, sounds okay. good. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Now we collect the stem and leaf of bitter melon. Uh -huh. this, this part? One. This part? Yeah. No, 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 not this part. Oh, okay. You can see from the bottom uh -huh. up around 60, 60 centimeters. The, the, thick, the thick part? Yeah, the yeah. thick part, like okay. this. Okay. Yeah. So the fruit, we just we don't touch the fruit? No, we don't touch the fruit. The vegetable, I should say? Yeah. Vegetable. Also, okay. This is very long, right? Cut. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Up till about. No, you can take it all. I take it all. Wow, well, let me try. <laughs> Do you have to be gentle or can you just. No, you can take all. It's not no, too not fragile. Not too gentle. Okay. But if you can, you can take out all. Oh, it goes right up. Even right? It's this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, it needs practice. Because we cannot cut all. Yeah. We have to keep for the next time. Mm. So if you cut too much, the, the plant will die. No, plan not die, but we don't have for the next time have a thing. Ah, okay, okay. This one you can cut and continue cutting until you this one. Oh, okay. So I follow all the way back? Yeah, all the way back. Down again. here. And you can cut here. Here? It's too long. Too long? Yeah. Okay. So you can cut here. 
Okay. Okay. Take down. Where is he? Where is he? Oh. Okay. Okay, give up. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. And around she goes. Yeah. Around up. Okay. Snip. Oh, this is actually quite fun, you know. Um, I could imagine it would get frustrating trying to chase these vines around everywhere. It's it's hot work in here. It's like uh, it's like being in a sauna. Um, enjoyable, but uh, after a while, it gets a little bit a little bit uncomfortable. But it's green when you're surrounded by by green, uh, it's very hard to be unhappy. <laughs> I can, I can understand why people like to be uh, green keepers or, or work in a nursery. It's, it's, quite, um, it's quite calming to be around plants. Uh, the, difference, the difference between the countryside uh, where we are now and, and Saigon is um, the noise. There's no traffic, there's no people, uh, there's no horns. There's no trucks, very, very few trucks anyway. Um, the noise is the biggest difference. I love this actually. I think, um, I think when I get back to Saigon, I'm going to quit my job as an English teacher and I'm going to uh, head to the countryside in Vietnam and start applying for work. I just, uh, I think the language barrier might be a big problem with me. Uh, trying to get work as a farmer here. Very hard to explain to me exactly what I have to do. I figured it out, so the longer they are hanging down in the walkway like this one, the easier they are to follow back up and find and cut them off. This fruit, <clears throat> this fruit, the bitter melon, is very bitter. Um, here in Vietnam, it's, it's usually uh, put in a bit of melon soup. It's a very popular soup and, and eaten all year round. Um, but the health benefits uh, are probably better than the taste, although I love the taste. Um, it's supposed to be a, a preventative for cancer. Uh, it helps um, cure diabetes, not cure diabetes, but live, live better with diabetes. Um, it helps lower uh, blood, uh, blood pressure. Um, and it's good for stomach aches and um, also coughs <clears throat> if you have a sore throat. Have a bowl of nice uh, bitter melon soup. Now we finish the harvesting the stem and leaf uh -huh. of bitter melon. Now you go to the preparation the ingredient for the tea. Uh -huh. Chào mọi người. Xin chào. Yeah. Mọi người khỏe không? Khỏe chứ. Yeah. Tối làm việc chúng tôi không? Được chứ. Thank you. Cảm ơn. Cảm ơn mọi người. Ok. You can see we collect the new one. The new one is uh, the green leaf and stem is younger. And this one is the brown leaf and the old stem. But it's okay for tea? Yeah, also can you for tea. Okay. But in this case, you re we remove the the split brown leaf. Ah, the brown leaf. Oh, just <laughs> take the stem. Okay. Okay. After you remove all, you take the stem. Oh, okay. But instead of the new one, we we can collect the leaf. Thank 
video and you can see the new energy here, then hit the stem. Ah, okay. pick everything up. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. the stem. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to imagine that this could be made into a drink. Yeah. Really? <laughs> How's that? Okay. Good. Thank you, Leif. Old Leif or new Leif? Old Leif. Old Leif. No, old Leif. Okay. 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 Okay, I've, I've realized after today that uh, making tea is actually not as simple as, uh, as I first thought. It's a series of many little steps, but all those steps are just as important as the next. Uh, here we are at the drying room and it's uh, very hot, but this is the final step. On a tea, a tea farm in a tea field is uh, relaxing. Hot, but relaxing. And uh, I'm sure long hours, long hours, but quite peaceful. Before, I just thought they grew tea by picking tea leaves and putting them in a bag. That's it. I didn't realize that, that there's more products involved in making a tea. And uh, there's a lot of processes, a lot of different steps, especially with the, the bitter melon tea, a lot of different steps. I think it's great that a plant like the bitter melon can be used, everything can be used. The fruit, the leaves, the stem, uh, it's a very healthy plant, and very delicious actually. Production part. Okay, first if you want, you can add it. In that time, you can not be difficult to work in. The bit the melon stem. Mm, strong smell. Stem, this was stem. Yeah, very, very strong smell. Oh, really? Yeah. Because Let me try to do it in one, one minute. Long time. Ah, I see, I see. Two? How many? Okay. Um, very interesting to see, uh, particularly how it's sealed and kept fresh. Um, I, I never knew how they did it, so now I know. I already took you all the of the our tea and you already finished the packing tea bag uh -huh. 
So now we take the tea bag and we go outside to enjoy it. Uh, how about it? Good. Okay. I've been waiting a long time for it. Okay, yeah. I will take it and go out and go outside. Okay. Yes, yes. One for you, one for me. Yes, okay. okay let's go. Let's go. Our product. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I didn't do it alone. <laughs> How is your today? It was a big day, but I, I'm tired. Okay, so the peppermint tea in, inside the tea will make you feel fresh. It smells good. Thank you guys so much. I, I had a great day. Yeah. I, I didn't realise that uh, bitter melon could be made into a tea. And I didn't realise the process of, of making a specialised tea like that. Um, I'm amazed that you can use every part of the plant. You can use all of it. Nothing goes to waste. And it's good for your health and it tastes good. And I don't see any points about it. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> after my day um, on this farm, after living in a day in Vietnam, I am so tired. Um, I learnt a lot, I did a lot, um, but I had a good time and, and I learnt things here that I would not learn anywhere else. So uh, I want to say thank you to living a day in Vietnam and uh, I will say goodbye. Bye-bye.